Pika is the term used in psychological eating disorder. There is a special type of eating disorder which is a psychological disturbance called Pika. Yeah, some people start eating the clay or soil or Pika, okay, you know Pika. So Pika is actually defined as an interest in special interest eating the non-nutritive things. You cannot understand that because sometimes you have to get pregnant to understand it. <laughs> pregnant females sometimes get this trouble that they suddenly develop an urge to eat the things which are not nutritive. Right? That is a psychological disorder which is called Pika. Is that right? And one of my friend who was always afraid of his wife, when his go wife got pregnant, he ran away from home. I said, why? He said, my wife has developed Pika. I said, but why you run away? He says she may be, might be interested in eating my brain. <laughs> right? So that is not the right situation. Pika means posterior inferior cerebral artery. Now, uh, first I will talk about interior spinal artery and its territory of supply and then about this. I will make the spinal cord section here. Yes, I hope you recognize the component. Am I clear in this diagram? This is to posterior root, interior root. Okay. Now, anterior spinal artery is basically lodged over here and descending here. This diagram is very important that how much part of the spinal cord is supplied by the interior spinal artery. Actually, this is interior, yes. Yes. Interior two-third of the spinal cord. Interior two-third of the spinal cord is uh, supplied with the blood from interior spinal artery. It means if interior spinal artery is blocked that then interior two-third of the spinal cord at that level of the blockage will undergo infarction, necrosis. Is that right? Undergo ischemia and if ischemia is severe that may lead to the death or necrosis of that part of spinal cord. So what really happens that interior spinal artery supplies about interior two-third of the what? Spinal cord. Right, another important thing, of course, there is not so much blood coming from here that it will supply all the down. Rather, there are special branches which are called segmental arteries which are coming at multiple levels to reinforce the blood flow to the interior spinal artery. Do you know that? The segmental arteries. Because in the spinal cord, if interior spinal artery starts from here and goes down, right, it does not have enough blood to supply all the spinal cord interior two third. So it is reinforced, right, from certain branches which are coming from arteries which are outside the vertebral column and they are giving branches to the interior spinal connect special supply to the anterior spinal artery so that added blood flow sh should come there and spinal cord should be properly nourished. Right? So let's suppose this is one artery. What is this now artery called? Segmental artery. So segmental arteries are entering into from the some arteries which are on the side. Right? And these segmental arteries as they move medially they divide into anterior and they divide into posterior divisions, right? Anterior division, which will reinforce the anterior <coughs> spinal artery and a posterior division. Anterior division is called, yes please, anterior radicular artery. And posterior division is called, yes, posterior radical, radicular artery. And anterior divisions, right, they are reinforcing the blood flow in, what is this? Anterior spinal artery and posterior divisions are reinforcing the blood flow in posterior spinal artery. Remember, there is one anterior spinal artery, but there are two posterior 
spinal arteries. Is that right? We know about the origin of anterior spinal artery, that anterior spinal artery originate from vertebral arteries, right? Who knows the origin of posterior spinal arteries, from where the posterior spinal arteries originate? Raise your hand. Who knows what is the origin of posterior spinal arteries? Yes, please. You are just moving fingers? Okay, I thought maybe raising hand. From where the posterior spinal arteries come? Everyone knows anterior spinal arteries are coming from? Right? Vertebral arteries. What about posterior spinal arteries? They are, they, oh, depends on what? Depends on that you know the answer or not or what? <laughs> yes. Yes, who knows? Posterior spinal arteries, they are coming from where? Don't tell me that they are coming from some artery which is posterior. Yes. Posterior spinal arteries are also coming from vertebral artery or either they come directly from the vertebral artery or they come indirectly from spica, posterior inferior cerebral artery. Let me tell you. Okay, listen. Either, you know, these are coming in front. Posterior spinal artery must go on the back. Is that right? In some people, posterior spinal artery is coming directly from vertebral artery. Or in some people, it is coming from, what is this? Yes, pica. Is that right? Now let me make it more clear to you. I am going to make a section of spinal cord at this level. This is your basilar artery and here it is your vertebral arteries, right? And here was your, what was here? Anterior. Anterior spinal, right? Is that right? And posterior spinal, okay, I should make, what was here? Posterior inferior cerebral 